start the new season tonight we'll see the Miami Heat as they play against the Golden State Warriors here in Chase Center alongside Grant Hill and Brent Berry I'm Brian Anderson also with us tonight our reporter Ali LaForce and a chance now to look at the schedule for the Golden State Warriors on Tuesday they'll be facing Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns and then Friday they head out on the road to face the Kings in Sacramento what a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. So a look at our starters for the Heat. Martin at power forward with Adebayo as the center. Lowry and Hero are the guard set, and it's Butler in at the three slot. And for the Warriors, the core of the Warriors dynasty on the floor. Curry and Clay is the guards with Draymond at the four. Kevon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. We've got new rosters, fresh starts, and a lot of hope, which means it's time to tip off the NBA season, Brent. Thankfully, we got through the offseason storylines, the preseason, and all the predictions out there. It's not about that stuff. It's about the play. So let's get it started. Now here's Looney to the paint. Here's Wiggins, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Well, Looney knows his role, good at keeping the ball moving and finding the right man for the shot. Adebayo, a screen on Curry. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo, and that comes off the assist by Lowry. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And the basket by Curry. I mean, he's like a magician how quickly he gets that shot off. Is it ever there? Butler against Wiggins. Butler passes to Martin. To the inside. Here's Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. When Martin puts the ball in his teammates' hands, good things happen. Pass to Looney. Outside. Green. Down low. Here's Wiggins. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Now here's Butler. And here's Hero. Tries a 10-footer, and there are the Heat with another bucket. How about Hero? Gets inside and finds a way to sneak up his shot and get it to go. Curry passes to Looney. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. And the shot's good by Wiggins. And I love their energy so far. They're now four for four from the field. Thompson against Hero. Pass to Butler. Butler double team. Now out of bio. No good. Looney with some nice D. I mean, I think that was their first miss of the game. They've been just rolling. You know, Brent, we always hear Looney's teammates talk about his value to the team. How about the dirty work that he does on a nightly basis? 
rebound setting screens, setting guys up with some pretty good passing because he's so familiar with the offense. This guy is in a perfect role with this squad. Now here's Lowry. Adebayo, a screen on Curry. Lowry, no good. The Warriors leading. Thompson finds Curry. Here's Wiggins. Looney passes to Curry. Here's Thompson. He's guarded by Hero. Thompson's shot is off. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Butler. Sweet little floater. So many intriguing parts to Jimmy Butler's game, including that delicate floater. The Warriors have gone four of six in the first quarter. Pass to Looney. Back to Curry. Thompson outside. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Hero against Thompson. Outside Butler. Shot blocked. Looney's starting to play a little bit angry right now. And that's helping this defense be more aggressive. And we have to take another look at that block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. And that's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Miami will keep it. Miami. And check in the 2K leaderboard. These teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. Second, the Warriors. That kind of efficiency from range is generally an indicator of a dominant offense. Five on the clock. Butler on the wing. Hounded by Wiggins. And that one drops. Yeah, nice to have Jimmy Butler on your side. Got that ability to score when it's not so easy out there. Lowry against Curry. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. Fires from deep. Another three for Golden State. Their defense has to do a better job of smuggling those shooters. Outside Butler. Looney grabs a miss. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Pass to Curry. Back to Wiggins. Green with a screen on Martin. Wiggins finds Green. And the shot goes. An outstanding first quarter from the field. Andrew Wiggins. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Heat. They trail by seven. First chance of the year for them to go up against this Warriors team. Butler with the ball. Clock at six. Goes up at the stripe. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. Now that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Outside Curry. Pass to Green. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point lane never hurts. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Free throw good. Green. You talk about players that mean so much to their team. Stephen Curry at the top of that list, Brent. Yeah, you just look at the numbers, B.A. They're staggering about what happens when this team doesn't have Steph Curry on the floor. And really, Curry becomes the entirety of the way this offense works. Now here's Curry. Six points for him. Pass to Thompson from outside the arc. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Thompson's got six. And what's working here, each 
guy is willing Miami to make the next time. pass. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. to go. Six of twelve. Now here's Butler. Six points for him. Adebayo a screen on Wiggins. Butler passes to Adebayo. Shoots over Wiggins. And Adebayo with the basket. On the assist by Butler. Adebayo saw the gap and just got right through it. Here's Curry. Thompson outside. Let's the three fly. And it's Martin with the rebound. For Miami, they've gotten 7 of 13 shots to drop. Hero with it. Outside Butler. Driving to the basket. Pass to Adebayo. Second chance effort. And the layup by Butler. Give him 8 points now. Just relentless Jimmy Butler. To the middle. Robinson with a steal. Inside. Kicks it to Hero. Butler with the ball. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. Now just a five-point Warrior lead. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. The three from Curry. It's hauled in by the Heat. Outside Robinson. Pass to Hero. Now Butler. Here's the three. That's basket number six in eight tries. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Now Looney. Thompson with it. Puts up a three. They get the rebound. Wiggins with a screen on Butler. And there's the lob. He makes that look so easy. Andrew Wiggins up and down on the alley-oop. Miami has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Hero, the pass to Butler. Back to Hero. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Hero's got his second basket of the game. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? Well, they've shown both effort and will to get back into this one. But can they finish this one off? Can't let up now. Now here's Thompson. He's got six. Sends it home from three-point land. Thompson's got nine. Just get the feeling that whenever Clay rises up, he's going to make it. Butler against Wiggins. Butler up top. 13 points in the game. Shot clock at six. Adebayo a screen on Wiggins. And here's Butler outside. Oh, he trades the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. Kevon Looney picks one up. And what really separates Jimmy Butler as a player is competitive fire, Brent. B.A., you see that wall over there? Go ask Jimmy to run through it. Guess what? He'll do it twice. He'll go through it one way, turn around, and come back. I mean, this guy has got incredible willpower, and when the stakes are highest, he's at his best. The Heat making a switch here. Love's checked in. gives you so much toughness and determination. This guy can really impact what the culture of your team is all about. Pass to Sharich. To the paint. Here's Thompson. Now shooting 50% for the game. He's 4 for 8. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Peyton against Butler. 
inside. Here's Adebayo. Can't get it to go. He's made three. He's missed three so far. Dayton finds Paul. A minute 53 left to play in the first. Thompson outside. From the arc. Another three for Golden State. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Now here's Butler. He's got 17. And finished off by Adebayo. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and a big throwdown. Here's Paul. And that one's long. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. Have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Paul against Hero. Pass to Love. The three ball. And again, Kevin Miami Love. with a triple. And Kevin Love can step a few feet behind the three-point line, that time showing off a little bit more of his range. Paul passes to Thompson. It's hauled in by Robinson. Miami trailing. 43 seconds left in the first quarter. Now Hero. Right side, Butler. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Peyton against Butler with a nine-footer. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. I like the effort there from Sharic on the jumper. Sees the defender, still sticks with it. And the first one at the line is good. Both teams will make substitutions. Both free throws, good for Sharich. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? I mean, he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Hero outside. Here's the screen by Bryant. Hero, the pass to Bryant. And then Bryant wow. with the dunk. This is a good recognition for Bryant to head right to the hoop. Buried from outside. I don't know. I think we may get a review here. That was close. And it looks like the previous play is Ask it off in time or not. Uh, yeah, the replay makes it obvious. I mean, he got that shot off in time. It should be an easy decision for the officials. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So the replay was conclusive. Call overturned. Grant, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all you want. But at the end of the day, you want it to be a level playing field. You want the call to be correct. And so it's Clay Thompson making highlights for the Warriors. Torching the Nets. Hitting four from distance that quarter. Time for a quick break. Then back to the action. for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. And here's Hero on the court for Miami here in the second. 
we've got Josh Richardson. Kevin Love out there with Duncan Robinson. Then there's Tyler Hero, and it's Bryant in at the center position. Hero finds Bryant. Down to five on the shot clock. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry for three. Robinson. It's hauled in by Sharich. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Free throw line jumper. Again, the Warriors score. That's a signature shot from Chris Paul still knocking down 15 to 18 footers. And Brent, the offensive style of this Warriors team, they stand apart from the rest of the league. Well, it's that perimeter shooting that's just so elite, B.A., that really sets them apart. They move the ball, they move themselves, but they can really shoot it. And when those shots are falling, this team is incredibly difficult to stop. Here's Paul. The Heat making their last shot. Curry, no good. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Back to Hero. Pass to Love. Paul with the double. Hero for three. He buries it from three. Hero's got seven points in the game. Love has a knack for recognizing when a teammate's going to break wide open. Paul against Hero. And that one's good. Paul. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Pass to Bryant. Back to Hero. Tipped. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. The Heat always focused on the big prize. Coach Spolster said, quote, winning a championship can be done in a lot of different ways. The game is played on both sides of the floor with IQ and with toughness, making plays in those winning moments. It's not necessarily what everybody thinks it is. Brian? Well, he would know, Ali. Thank you. And so Hero will bring it up for the Miami Heat. It's a three-point game. They host the Pistons after this one, and that's a one-game homestand for the club. It's rebounded by Golden State. They've led by as many as 11. Outside Curry. Outside Paul. Beyond the arc, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got four assists now tonight. Chris Paul knowing to go straight up with that shot. Miami Ball. Smart play from him. And the Heat call time here. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors you can't see. So both teams making some changes here. And a chance now to look at the highest scoring teams in the league from last season. The Warriors, second. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. Richardson against Curry. Off the mark there with a three. After nailing three trays to start this game, he's gone silent here in the second quarter. Love, a screen on Peyton. Outside Love. Fires for three. Hauled in by Paul. Golden State has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Right side Curry. Pass to Peyton. Peyton with a screen on Lowry. Just five on the clock. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. Quickness of Chris Paul dicing up the defense with his superb passing off the screen. Lowry against Paul. Here's the floater. Oh, no problem from Hero as he finishes at the rim. Hero's got nine. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Now here's Peyton, and here's Curry for three. Gets the three to fall. He's got 12. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Ball against Lowry. Hero outside. Bryant a screen on Curry. Hero for three. Warriors with the rebound. Pass to Peyton. 
back to Paul. Outside Peyton. Curry against Richardson. Curry's shot is off. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Warriors. And what makes Tyler Hero so dangerous, Grant, is his ability to catch Love fire to from, from range. Yeah, I would say, Grant, sometimes it's an inferno with Tyler Hero, the way he can get it going. I mean, he can rain down threes. He's got a pull-up game. He can get quickly in the double digits. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Peyton. And Miami with a change here, too. Adebayo's checked in. Now here's Paul. He has seven. Kaminga with it. And that's Love picking him up defensively. Here we go. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Love is confident when it comes to attacking the defense, especially when he gets closer and closer to the rim. So Grant, if you were a GM and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, B.A., I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella. He just got drafted. But the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. And I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Paul. And Miami with a change here, too. Butler's checked in for Richardson. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Love passes to Hero to the middle. Double team on Butler. Lowry outside. Pass to Love. Kicks it to Hero. From deep. Miami, no good that time either. But we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense and trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. Now here's Wiggins. Give him eight. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Now here's Hero. For three, Lowry. And the three-pointer goes. Lowry's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for the Warriors. They've led by as many as 11. Looney finds Wiggins. Thompson outside. Oh, and Clay makes that three look so easy. Yeah, Thompson coming right back, and Clay saying, yeah, I know I play D, but I also hit threes. That's a nice response. Love the screen on Wiggins. It's stolen by Green. On the wing, Thompson takes a three. And it's Miami with a rebound. Love's got his fourth rebound in this one. The Heat have gone four of ten from the field in the second. Here's Butler. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on Draymond Green. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. And he drops the first. And Grant, the resiliency and determination of the Heat not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And this summer, one of the Heat's own, Dwayne Wade, inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame brand. What an amazing big game performer Dwayne Wade was during his entire career. 13-time All-Star, three-time champion, and he brought the organization their first title. That just says it right there. Dwayne Wade, the foundation, the rock of the Miami Heat. 
Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, you look at Draymond's NBA career. Such a staple of this Warriors team's run of success. Maybe in the way that he plays, it gets overshadowed because people don't recognize the true greatness and what he does defensively. But Draymond talks enough for you to recognize just how much he means to this team and the way they've won championships around his demeanor. First free throw is good. Hey, we all love going to Oakland, but the Chase Center is just incredible, Brent. Oh, what a magnificent, sparkling, brand new building they have. Like most arenas, the Warriors practice facility is also in the building for the players, so it makes it very easy for them day after day and night after night to come do the work that's necessary to be a championship team. That one misses. I mean, so much glue in this guy as Draymond focuses on making all the winning plays that he possibly can. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Adebayo doesn't go that time. Golden State has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Pass to Paul. And here's Wiggins. Five to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Here's Looney. Denied by Adebayo. Are, are we sure that Bam's not wearing a watch out there? Perfect timing. Robinson passes to Butler. Lowry outside. Love the screen on Paul. For three, Lowry. Warriors with the rebound. Outside Paul. Looney, a screen on Lowry. Lowry against Paul. Pass to Wiggins. The three from Thompson. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. Oh, this guy is as hot as they come from distance. Defensively, you almost have to pick him up once he crosses half court. Now here's Butler. 19 points in the game. Robinson against Thompson. Let's go with a three. And it's Robinson with the three. Robinson's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Ball against Lowry. Pass to Thompson. Puts up a deep three. Goes back up. Oh, Looney. Cool and calm at the rim. Looney in the right spot there. Good presence on the inside as he boxes the defense out and sends the ball right up. Looking at the 2K leaderboard, here were the NBA's top dime droppers last year. Fifth on the list, Chris Paul. Not a lot of guys had better vision on the floor than him. He was able to see passing lanes and ready shooters no one else could. Pass to Looney. Outside, Green. With some arc. Oh, look at Green getting his inside. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Here's Robinson. Butler with the ball. Shoots over Wiggins. And Butler the bucket on the assist by Love. Butler's gotten four this quarter. Jimmy Butler is in the zone, and he keeps finding shots. Wiggins outside. Lowry against Paul. Takes the three. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got four rebounds now. Butler surveying the floor. Robinson on the wing. Fires the three. And again, Miami with a triple. Yeah, this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Thompson outside. The three. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got four assists in the game. That's what Paul does best, giving his man a great scoring opportunity. Butler passes to Robinson. Butler, a screen on Thompson. For three, Robinson drains the triple. Robinson's got nine. The Warriors leading. 
down low. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. And the excitement on that bench grows as Clay Thompson pours it in. Lowry, the pass to Robinson. Outside Butler. To the paint. Here's Adebayo. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in ten attempts. Now, any possession that ends in a shot from that range after a good player and ball movement, that's a good one. Thompson against Robinson. Now here's Thompson. Tight defense on him. He shoots. Can't nail the jumper. And so it's Clay Thompson making highlights for the Golden State Warriors. Hitting three trays in the quarter, providing some sharp shooting. We'll be right back with you shortly. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. When I look at Miami, at this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. And now time to take a closer look at Clay Thompson, who spent the first half lighting it up. I like that he's not settling on offense. He's staying aggressive, finding high quality looks. That's why he's shooting with SLE, Shaq like efficiency. And we all know that's elite efficiency. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. And you know, Clay Thompson has been really making it happen, guys. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. Down low, it's Draymond and Looney. The Splash Brothers move to the wings. Curry the two, Clay at the three. And it's Paul in at the one spot. And that's the group for Steve Kerr as we begin the second half. And here's Butler outside. The Warriors pull it in. They've led by as many as 11. Pass to Paul. Looney with the ball. Guarded by Adebayo. And here's Curry for three. And Butler with the block. And Jimmy Butler has incredible offensive instincts. Great timing on that block. Lowry, the pass to Butler. Adebayo, a screen on Thompson. Butler finds Adebayo. Here's Hero. That one rolls around and rims out. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Looney passes to Curry. Oh, Curry just weaving his way through traffic. Still knocks it in. And that's Curry showing some of that toughness. Not going to shy away from contact. Adebayo, a screen on Thompson. Lowry, right side. Launches a three. Miami, no good that time either. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Pass to Looney. Thompson with it. He's guarded by Martin. The fadeaway. And he gets the bucket. And now a nine-point Warrior lead. That's three buckets in a row off assists. The Heat have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Now Lowry. Outside Butler. To the inside. Here's Adebayo. Can't get it to drop. Looney with some nice D. Rough start to the third quarter, but give some credit to the defense they're facing. Curry, no good. And so Adebayo will bring it up for Miami. 
Still looking for their first bucket of the second half. Hero against Curry. Hero, the pass to Butler. Double team on Butler. Adebayo sets a screen. Martin with the bucket. Well, when you look at Martin's numbers, he's not a volume three-point shooter, but he can be effective from deep. Golden State calls Golden State timeout. Calls timeout. Add more and more. Bam Adebayo loves to go with his mid-range shot. Yeah, he feels like it's getting to that automatic stage when he's at those mobiles with that high-arcing soft touch that he has. And that high release makes him really tough to stop. Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Looney, a screen on Lowry. Curry with it. Hero picks him up. The three from Thompson, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. For Miami, they've gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Adebayo, a screen on Thompson. Hero for three. And again, Miami with a triple. Three points. And Hero, early on in his career, finds himself in these big-time moments. Lowry against Curry. Thompson outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Miami's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Butler passes to Lowry. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Adebayo a screen on Curry. Here's Lowry. Again, the Heat score. Kyle Lowry with a nice release on that one. It opens up the mid-range. The Warriors have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Curry passes to Thompson. There's the triple. Counted from distance. Thompson's got 33 points. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Hero for three. And he's six for 12 after that one. There's going to be all kinds of defense in a shot maker's face, and Hero dealt with that well. Inside. Curry strong against the coverage. A sort of move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Butler passes to Lowry. To the middle. It's stolen by Looney. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Butler. Back to Green. This one for three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got rebound number eight now. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the opposing team coach. And he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. Now here's Butler. 21 points in the game. Hero for three. The rebound by Wiggins. The Warriors have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian, after 941 days sidelined by an ACL and then an Achilles tear, Clay Thompson's back doing what he loves. He said, quote, in the beginning, I was so eager to prove that I'm still great. Now I'm more relaxed, reminding myself that this is a dream that I'm living. What matters most is just having fun and playing hard, and all the big nights, they'll come. Brian? Yeah, that's the right perspective, Allie. Thanks for that. Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. Curry against Hero. Curry creates inside. Well, he can score from the perimeter, but Steph also knows how to execute inside. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Well, we always hear about heat culture. How would you define it, Brent? Well, I think what they do is just find guys who are hungry. And then they do a great job of starving you during the year. What I mean by that is just making it competitive. You're going to earn everything you get if you're a member of the Miami Heat, and that includes playing time. Martin, the pass to Adebayo. Now here's Butler. Unfazed by the defense. Good D. Better O. Butler's got an uncanny ability to just outwork and outduel his opponent. Thompson outside. 
launches it from deep. Connects again from distance. Marries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Lowry surveys the D. Pass to Martin. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got three assists tonight. If you're going to be successful at this level, you have to be able to make shots with tight defense on you. Martin did it there. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Hero against Curry. Adebayo passes to Butler. Out to Lowry. Let's it go from deep. And Chris Paul clears it away. Paul's got four rebounds in the game. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Now here's Lowry. He's got five. Butler finds out a bio. Lowry outside. Three-pointer. Kept alive. Adebayo sets a screen. The three-pointer off the mark. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Curry's shot is off. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Heat. They trail by nine. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Adebayo slams it in. And you make the next pass. Nice job by Lowry there. The Warriors have gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Here's Curry. Pass to Looney. Oh, look at Looney at the rim. And you have to prevent him from getting to the paint. Uh, unless you want to see a highlight. Lowry against Paul. Now Lowry. Hero for three. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Three-pointer. Lowry's got assist number five here tonight. The Warriors shooting it well at 59%. Lowry against Paul. The three from Thompson. It's hauled in by the Heat. Martin's got his fifth rebound in this one. Lowry against Thompson. Lowry the pass to Adebayo. Down low. The jump hook. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Now here's Paul. Seven points in the game. Curry's shot is off. Here's Lowry. Butler on the wing. Ooh, good work on the interior from Butler. Jimmy B doing his work there, challenging in the lane. Pass to Looney. Wiggins outside. On the wing, Thompson. They double-team Thompson. Back to Wiggins. Six to shoot. Thompson, a screen on Hero. Thompson outside. Knocks down the triple. Thompson's got 39. I mean, this guy is unreal. What a show. Butler passes to Hero. They double him with Curry. To the inside. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And taking a look at last year's stats. Here were the players that led the way in terms of steals. Fifth is Jimmy Butler. Last year, he was really opportunistic defensively, creating havoc. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. It will shut it down. With the and the Warriors make some changes. Sharich checks in for Looney. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. And Peyton is subbed in for Stephen Curry. A big group substitution here for Miami. Brian, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Love comes in for Martin. Robinson, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And Richardson subbed in for Lowry. The three from Thompson, and it's Miami with a rebound. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Outside Richardson. Pass to Hero. Sharich brings the double team. 
Bryant against Kaminga. Shoots a fadeaway. Bryant, no good. The Warriors leading. Paul passes to Sharich. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Sharich on the inside has really good quality footwork. Bryant outside. Inside. Here's Richardson. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. On the wing, Peyton. Ball against Hero. Ball passes to Kaminga. Kaminga soars in for the slam. Man, he makes it look easy. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Kyle Lowry's checked in for Robinson. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Call. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That'll belong to Kyle Lowry. Paul finding a At way that time to, to draw the foul. Chris Paul. Two shots. And he makes a first. Paul hits them both. And there is this sense that every team that Paul has been on he's just made them better a testament to his leadership and obvious selfless attitude Thompson against Hero Brian a screen on Thompson Hero for three they get it back he got it up in time but it would not fall for him and so it's the Golden State Warriors they lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Hey, three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possession. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. But this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth quarter. Kevin Love out there with Bam Adebayo. Then there's Josh Richardson. Then it's Duncan Robinson. And it's Lowry in at the point guard position. Now here's Robinson. Pass to Lowry. Adebayo is screen on Paul. Throws it up high. It's stolen by Sharich. On the break. Here's Peyton. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Really nice read from Sharich that time. Right? The steal. Well, Miami shooting it at 52%. Lowry against Paul to the paint. The ball's knocked loose. Peyton with a steal. Here's Sharich. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. And Miami has possession, following the score by Golden State. Here's Richardson. Here's Adebayo. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. 
Just doesn't feel like Bam Adebayo is 6'9". He covers so much ground. Richardson against Curry. Right side, Peyton. Paul taking his time here. Six on the shot clock. Oh, Kaminga, just a menace inside. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. On the wing, Richardson. No good from outside. The Warriors have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Pass to Curry. Pulls it in from the elbow. Again, Golden State. What else can you say about Steph Curry? Simply one of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. Here's Richardson. From down in the low post, it goes. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Ball against Lowry. And the layup is good. And the Warriors lead by 17. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Now a timeout Miami called by timeout. Miami. You know, when you talk about Chris Paul, you get the sense we are in the final years of his career, Brent. Yeah, it's definitely how it feels, but I love that CP3 is not going to let you know about it. He's going to continue to go out there and compete, and do whatever it takes to contribute to win. He will continue to play at a high level. Wiggins, he's checked in for Sharns. Jovic, he's checked in for Miami. Ball against Lowry. Pass to Richardson. Adebayo a screen on Curry. Six to shoot. They swipe it. Paul passes to Kaminga. He gets it in there. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Now here's Richardson. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Again, the Heat misses. Outside Curry. 4-3. And it's Miami with a rebound. Love's got rebound number eight now. Pass to Jovic. And here's Adebayo. He's covered by Curry. Knocks it loose. Love for three. Sinks it from distance. Precision shooting off of the pass. Love takes no time letting that one go. Outside Peyton. Wiggins outside. Now Paul. He's guarded by Lowry. Ball against Lowry. Four on the clock. And a bio with a steal. Lowry against Paul. Lowry outside. And there's a pick. Oh, there's the alley. And finished off by Adebayo. Nice roll by Adebayo. Just having himself ready to receive that pass. Outside Curry. They double-team Curry to the inside. Kuminga. And he throws it down with one hand. This can make it so much easier for your teammate. When you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now here's Richardson. Pass to Jovic. The three. And again, Miami with a triple. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Outside Paul. Up and over Lowry. Paul, shot is off. Practically a block. <laughs> Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Here's Jovic. Love for three. Good. And the assist goes to Adebayo. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Here's Paul. Adebayo grabs the board. 
one thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. Pass to Jovic. Love against Wiggins. Love passes to Lowry. Outside Richardson. Out of bio, a screen on Curry. Richardson, no good. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Lowry against Paul. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And Chris Paul, when he gets into those tight spots, he comes pretty smart in here. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. And the Warriors make some changes. Looney's checked in for Kaminga. Green comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's Thompson in for Peyton. Paul hits them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. And it's Butler with the ball for the Heat. A 12-point game. Adebayo a screen on Thompson. Butler passes to Adebayo. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got six assists now in the game. Time and time again, Butler just making the right play. Timeout called. The Warriors. Timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, and the Warriors making a switch here. Wiggins is checked in. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. Keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. Appreciate the report, Ali. Now here's Wiggins. Jacks up a three. That one is cast from Wiggins. Good to see Wiggins out there from the corner. Just great rhythm on that three. The Heat have gone seven for 11 so far on the fourth. Hero with it, and Looney picks him up defensively. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. We've had some major international prospects of late. How difficult is it scouting players from outside the U.S., Brett? Yeah, it's incredibly difficult just because the international game has such differences in the way, not only the game is played, but the way the game is called and uh, the production that happens in those games, B.A., trying to translate that over to the NBA style. That's difficult, but rest assured, there are talented scouts, talented uh, evaluators out there that have found the guys who have come to the United States, played in the NBA, and played at the highest level during the MVP award. Now that's saying something. Now here's Curry. Thompson outside. Pass to Green. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. But on Martin. But Draymond rising up into the contact. He's a good offensive player who finds his way this time to get to the free throw line. Two shots. First one falls for him. So hits one and misses one at the line. Miami's gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Butler against Wiggins. Outside Butler. Adebayo a screen on Wiggins. Butler passes to Adebayo. He's off on the layup. He gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. For three. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got his 16th rebound on the night. Wiggins against Butler. Pass to Lowry. And here's Hero. Here's Adebayo. Rebounded by Green. Adebayo, no good. Golden State has gone only 1 of 4 from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. 
Green up top. Here's Curry. They double team Curry. And here's Thompson for three. Good! Another from three. Man, he's really launching him from outside the arc. And so locked in. Feeling confident in his three point shot tonight. Here's Butler. Right wing. Pass to Hero. Adebayo a screen on Thompson. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. Blocked! Curry with it. Thompson outside. They double-team Thompson. Inside. Here's Looney. And Looney with the slam. That's just a good look to play as his teammate was open. Pass to Adebayo. Adebayo a screen on Wiggins. Here's Butler. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Curry against Lowry. Now here's Curry. Defense is right there. Ooh, excellent P there from Lowry. For Miami, they've gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Pass to Butler. Shoots over Wiggins. The 15-footer is good. Butler's got 27. They don't call him Jimmy Buckets for nothing. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll milk the clock a little. The three from Curry. And the Warriors with another three. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. you got to know where he is at all times. Now here's Butler. Adebayo a screen on Wiggins. Here's Butler. And there's another one Jimmy for the Heat. Butler. I like the timing, too. Jimmy Butler just bursting off of that pick to get to his shot. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Yep, that one goes. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Warriors. They were the more accurate club, and in the end, that made the difference, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, you love the execution. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Clay Thompson. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like... And again for three. And what a fireworks display he's shown us tonight. Just keeps hitting from deep. Man, he's just exploded from deep tonight. That last make tying him for second in most threes in a game. And he's tied Curry's mark from 2016, which was the top spot for a little while. And he is taking this game over. Big time scoring explosion in this one from Bam. Didn't think he would have this kind of offensive impact. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Curry finds Wiggins. Thompson against Hero. The three from Curry. Another three for Golden State. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. And so Golden State takes this one. And by a big margin. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They did just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And, uh... It's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Clay Thompson.